The summit is a sign of how much local leadership has emerged in the global stage. The world is becoming urban, as we know. Global cities, as New York and Johannesburg, are economic powers, hubs of innovation and decision-making. Today, people are leaving the suburbs back to cities in search of opportunities of quality of life. The ancient Greeks would say the city is the place to fulfill our existence. Reality shows they were right. The city, the polis, is as, is as strong as ever. That brings greater commitments to all of us. In cities, people demand public goods and services with increasing standards. We mayors are responsible for delivering it to the people. Health, education, transportation, sustainable development. As the world faces more complex, is complex issues, we have been called to take action. Fellow mayors, our decisions reflect in our communities and have a global impact. What happens in our cities drives the globe. Climate change is the best expression of that. A key part of the responsibility in our hands and consequences of climate change will affect urban populations. President Clinton knows the importance of commitments to improve our world. He has done it in, gov in government and through the work of his foundation. The C40 Cities Climate Leadership Group showed its will two years ago during the United Nations Conference on Sustainable Development Rio Plus 20, where we collectively announced the potential to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in our cities by over one gigaton of emissions by 2030, based on effective climate actions. It was a known edge as one of the most significant outcomes of the Rio Plus 20 process. As the climate action report in megacities shows, we have made significant progress. Cutting carbon emissions and increasing resilience makes people's lives better and safer. It means improving mobility and environmental quality, fostering innovation and promoting social integration. Caring about the environment means caring about the people. Cities have shown that green growth is not a utopia. It connects everyone's lives. Today, we are on the eve of a decisive moment in the fight against climate change. The United Nations debates the adoption of new sustainable development goals and negotiates an agreement to replace the Kyoto Protocol. 